<laughs> I have the new Go KWH 12 volt 100 amp hour smart battery. In this video, I'm not only going to test out the BMS and the shunt, we're going to determine if this battery is any good or not, but I also want to show you guys how to set this up to your Bluetooth device, download the app, get everything connected, and see if everything is reading correctly and if I would recommend this battery or not. And before I start with any test, I wanna make sure to charge this battery up to 100%. Before I get this hooked up to my inverter, I wanna make sure to show you how to download the app and get this connected to your phone. First step is to scan that QR code. First step, second step. You'll scan this one once you get in the app. Those QR codes are gonna be included when you receive your battery, but just in case they're not, I'm gonna have links in the description below where you can find those. The new versions of these batteries, this is connected directly to the BMS in the battery. So we'll see 13.6 volts, 13.6 volts, and 13.6 volts. So this is the actual uh, Bluetooth connection to this, and then this is connected up here on the terminals. So this should actually be more accurate than our shunt. Now we reach my favorite part of the test where I try to overload this battery to see if the BMS will actually protect it or not. And at the same time, I'm gonna perform a capacity test and this is the number that we're gonna be watching. We wanna make sure that this reaches 100. And I'm a technology guy and I love this app because it shows you everything that's going on with the battery itself. Gives you the controls, it actually set the parameters. You can look at the history of how the battery has been used, the number of cycles that the battery has been cycled. Everything that you need to know about this battery is in this app. To perform these tests, I'm gonna use a heat gun, a space heater, an old sandwich maker, and this old toaster oven. Let's get everything turned on. Currently, my third party shunt is showing 62.3 amps. The shunt built in is showing 61.5. This might be a little bit more accurate. And then on the Bluetooth, it's showing 61.5. And I'm not sure if we're gonna need all these appliances, but sometimes the BMSs don't work and I really need to push them, so I try to overload them with as much as possible. Probably in this situation, if the BMS is working correctly, I'll just need to turn that oven on because it should be too much for a 100 amp BMS. and the BMS is working as it's supposed to. You've seen that it spiked up to 200 and some amps, then it come back down and it was running at around 140. This is a continuous 100 amp BMS, and anything over that, once it runs for an X amount of time, it automatically shuts the battery down. Now, I do have the protection set in place that it would keep this battery turned off, so I would need to go into the app and turn that protection back off, so that way, the battery can turn back on. You'll also see an error on top of the battery letting you know that something's happened and it will not turn back on. And like I said, the only way to do that is to come back into the app and then turn that protection off. And how you're gonna do that is you'll go over to your controls and you'll go to clear warnings and everything will come back on. And while we're on the topic of the app, look right here, you can see the actual different cells that are in the batteries and how they're balancing themselves on a discharge. And for me, this is the coolest battery that I've ever tested outside of a server rack battery, the wall batteries or the all-in-one batteries, because this provides so much information through the app down to actually monitoring the cells inside of it. That's something that I have never seen with another brand of battery in this format that I've tested so far. So I don't know if this is the only one, but as of right now, it's the only one that I've ever tested and I really do like it. We show 0% here, 0% here, and 0% there. Final number is 101.62 amp hours. And that's a pass on the capacity test at 101%. After testing this battery out for some time, this is my new favorite 12 volt 100 amp hour battery. And there are a couple reasons for that. And the number one reason that I like this battery is that it does everything that it's supposed to do. It has the capacity that it says it has, the BMS protects the battery cells like it says it will, and the shunt connects to an app very easily. 
That leads me into my number two reason, and that's because this is a smart battery. With a smart battery, I'm able to monitor anything I'd ever want to monitor about this battery through the app. And in some cases, I can see it right here on the monitor on top. We can turn on or off the discharge. We can turn on or off the charge. We can monitor down to the individual cells to see how they're balancing, the state of the battery, the current that's flowing in or out of the battery, and all sorts of other things. My third reason is because this is an affordable battery. Even with all that smart technology that's built in with this, it's still very competitive with other batteries on the market that don't have any of that smart technology. Two options I would like to see added are a low temperature sensor and a self-heating option. If it wasn't added to this battery, at least in a variation of this battery. Overall, I can easily recommend this battery because everything about it, I like. Of course, there's always options that you can add to a battery, but if you're going out and you're just wanting a good solid battery, this is a great buy. I appreciate you hanging out with me to the end of the video. And because you made it this far, I would like to ask you one little small favor, and that's to smash the thumbs up button right down there below. It really does help me out a lot. I really do appreciate it. I hope you learned something today, or at least I was able to keep you entertained throughout this video. And if I did, I hope to catch you in my next one.